welcome to the Island Engineering and Innovation Channel. Today I'm talking about a very interesting topic about audio systems, speakers in fact. This is one speaker prototype which I have developed and the story behind this is quite good. I was in, in my friend's house and in the morning we started to listen his speakers and actually his Aeson speaker system. It was Bower and Wilkins 802 with good amplifiers and stuff. And we put some Nightwish song on from Finland, Kite. And the moment when I started to hear the music was quite astonishing. I can still get goosebumps when I remember the first time I heard really good audio system in my friend's apartment and the Nightwish song. You could actually hear a lot more in the music. New instruments, new things which you cannot hear and experience if you don't have really good audio system. And in that moment I started to think I need to build my own. And this is the story behind that. And after that weekend I started to think what kind of speakers I would like to have. The Bowen and Wilkins will go to 30 Hz with minus 3 decibels and that was one of the targets which I have. So the speakers which I designed should go to 30 uh, Hz with minus 3 decibel voice cut. And that was one. And of course the other speakers also need to be up for the same level of voice levels. But what's challenging is that I want the speakers also look nice. You might think this doesn't look so nice but I will tell you through how the design process of these speakers went through. So I wanted to design speakers which will have a box, speaker box, which doesn't flex because the flexing uh, changes the sound and it's not so good if the box flexes. And I, I wanted to get a rigid box. And aluminium itself, it's really good material because it's stiff and light. And if aluminium starts to flex or bring resonance to your uh, voice, it's the sound is at that kind of hertz level that it's quite easy to dampen. So if it starts to flex, you can dampen it easily. But this is actually 8 mm thick aluminium, which you see here. An 8 mm thick aluminium means that it's about 120 mm thick MDF panel. It's about the same level of strength. So it's really, really strong box. But I wanted to have nice shapes on the box. And that's why I have designed these curvature sides. There's one thing is the looks, but other things is that the shape of the box like there, affects also the sound. When sound comes sharp corner, it starts to make waves. So if you have smooth corner, the waves go nicely over the curves and you get better sound. And on the top, you can see this really nice panel. Here's the one of the late, late, last prototypes which I did and the best ones are there on the box. And here is one engineering instruction which I will tell you a story behind the co top cover of these speakers. I went to a deep forming shop and asked how much it would cost to make prototypes to look like this. And they say it's impossible to make any kind of prototype tools that would get this kind of round smooth shapes like this with any kind of tool. They said they can make a serial form or serial status uh, forming tools, deep drawing tools, but it would cost 20,000 euros to make them. And I said, no, I cannot do that. It's just a prototype which I'm making. I need to find a way how to make it happen without spending 20,000 euros just on one piece of aluminium. I can even grind it with angle grinder to look this. But I started to think, can I make my own deep drawing tools? And then I started searching online how the deep drawing process actually works. And basically you have this upper tool and lower tool. My upper tool is here 
which you can see. It's basically sheet metal parts cut at the correct shape and stamp, stamped together and welded together. And after that I have used angle grinder to smooth the shape to have smooth shape. The shape is pretty much close on to the actual shape. It's not totally smooth but it's pretty smooth. After that you need to have the die where you press the parts. So you have this inner part which is actually quite difficult to design and get it working I can tell you later. But basically you have a plate where you press this heavy piece of steel through this. But first you need to have the aluminum piece which goes here on inside. So it will basically sit here, flat panel and you start to press it through this hole. You have upper panel which is steel also which is bolted around this. And to get it working you have to spend a lot of time and skills to design the shape of the outer edge of this steel tool to get it going nicely through the hole. And it was work trial and error. It took about 25 to 30 tries to get pieces like this come out in the thickness of 2.5 mm. Uh, I was originally designed this part to be 3 mm, so there is little dents here and there, which probably would have get less if I would have a bigger force press to press it through, because this one already took 15 to 20 tons of pressing force to get this 2.5 mm aluminum to change its shape to look like this. So it's possible to make your own deep drawing tools and save a lot of money because these tooling pieces actually cost me about 200 euros to make. And I'm not lying. So basically they are just sheet metal parts which are welded together and you have a frame of steel parts and compared to the cost that just the tool would have cost 20,000 euros. And with uh, innovative uh, mind set, I was able to save a lot of money and time and effort. And I was able to get this, get this nice shape of panels to my speaker project. So I know the flaws already. What can be changed better for the next project if I want to make some redrawing tools of similar projects. On the other side, on the speaker. This is the first prototype. You can see some welding seams here. We have measured these speakers in, in box or calibration room many times and we tried to get the base or the subwoofer levers better and we flipped this uh, subwoofer a little bit higher and then measured again, changed the filter settings. I have passive filter here which I'm using. So we changed the filter settings but the sound didn't get any better. So we changed it back to the original position and after that we have measured it, but there is problem still. What I need to do in the next version is that it's, it's still, the shape is pretty good to make. It's basically this uh, semi-round shape. So the first piece on the front cover is made on flat piece which you have bended the sides and then you have cut it off. So you have just the corner is there on each side. And the rest piece of this tube is just roll formed and then press formed in the sides to get it end nicely on the edge. And then it's just weld seam throughout the speaker. So you can get easily this uh, nice shape without using any kind of uh, what is it called? Aluminium extrusion tools, because if you make an aluminium extrusion tool for that kind of size, it's almost impossible already because there isn't not, not that much big tools that can, or machines which can press that big forms outside, outside of extrusion of aluminium. But it's also really expensive. So I can get quite cheaply this nice shape to look like this and test my speaker. But what's problem at this moment, I had the targets. You remember the 30, set, uh, 30 decibels or 30 hertz minus 3 decibel target. 
at the moment it does about 40 40 hertz only minus 3 decibels so i'm not satisfied even they sound really good best speakers i have ever had i need to do better so next version of this speaker will come out later i don't know the year actually because there's so many projects ongoing but i'm all the time thinking what are the basic mechanical force the box is having at the moment and what kind of speakers should i put to the next uh, prototype because this 8 times 12 inch subwoofer is about the same size as 10 inch subwoofer that should be enough for the target but this doesn't this particular model is not enough in this box so i need a bigger subwoofer and then i also need to change a little bit of the other speakers also so it's not a direct process because if you design speakers you need to know a lot of things about aluminium joining methods aerodynamics even and a lot other things so it's quite challenging and nice project if you want to challenge yourself and make your own what i would like you to know is that you can do it also you can buy ready-made speaker sets which work pretty good together and then you design your own box and start thinking ways how, to, how you can do your own box how, how it should look and this is what i want to tell you this time if you come to finland i can show you my speakers how they sound and keep watching the process and my channel because more interesting things are coming later keep following thanks <laughs>